I found a lovely little sheltered spot down below, but I literally would have been looking at it, a bank of grass all night. <laughs> I'm not into it, I'm not into it. So I found this little spot here. I think I can make it work. You know, if I can get my, my inner lined up just here, because then it kind of drops off as you go. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it work. It's reasonably sheltered. <laughs> I know it's raining, but I don't see a need to panic because once you start panicking, you start rushing around and then you make mistakes. Like I could forget to clip on one of my bags onto my backpack and be halfway down the mountain. <laughs> That'd be no crack chasing that down the mountain, you know? I have the tent pegged out, poles in the whole lot, but I haven't done the guy lines because I'm just gonna get my bag in. I don't see any reason to let it get wet unnecessarily. Plus it gives me a chance to get some extra layers on because once I slow down, I start to get fairly chilly. Most of my spots are not very flat. I just kind of <laughs> work with what I got, you know? So this end of the tent is a little bit higher than this end, so my head end's gonna be up there because I don't want all the blood flowing to me noggin when I'm trying to sleep. That's my massive bag of layers, it weighs about four kilos, I'd say. <laughs> got some extra clothes in there in case. I got really wet on the hike up because the weather looked atrocious from the forecast. I don't think it's as bad yet as what they were saying it was going to be. But I'm right down the south of Ireland. The rest of Ireland has been absolutely battered from what I, what I heard on the news. So um, I ran out of dry bags and I wanted to keep that handy because it's uh, my little wool jumper. And it looks like it's dry. So I had it just in the front of the bag, just in that pocket. So that's good to know. <laughs> I think I'll get the rest of the tent guide out and then we'll go down and get some water and get the kettle on. A cup of tea wouldn't go astray now. I was getting carried away thinking too much about the tea. <laughs> Completely forgot that I wanted to put an extra layer on. It's getting too excited there. This little wool jumper is from Marks and Spencer's. But I actually bought that in a charity shop. I think it was probably the most expensive wool jumper I've bought from the charity shops. It's about 20 quid. I don't think it was worth that compared to the other ones I got for a fiver and a tenner. <laughs> well, it's a nice one, you know, it's nice and light. It's good for hiking. It doesn't hold on to the stink, you know. It's antimicrobial, so. Yeah, really liking the wool jumpers for regulating the body heat. As you can see, the wind is hitting the back of the tent, which is not ideal. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit and the rain is definitely getting heavier. So I think things are just, maybe the weatherman was just slightly off on his timing, you know? Now be honest, did you notice my mistake? <laughs> I had put this pole underneath these two poles, which was completely arseways. So yeah, there's no need to panic, you know? Got all sorted. I haven't got the inside set up yet, as you can see, it's just a mess in there. This is definitely the earliest I've ever pitched. It's only 20 to seven. Sunset is until 10 o'clock. <laughs> but I highly doubt there's anyone gonna be coming up here. I think the weatherman might have scared them all off, you know? Scared off most of the lunatics. <laughs> or all but the lunatics. I was hearing some funky noises up top. I thought it was like a stag calling or something like that. But I don't know. It was a stag calling or something 
mad. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't put my finger on it, you know. Do you know them sounds you hear? You just, you just can't. Your brain can't process it. So I don't know what it was. Have a ration pack here. Let's have an old yoke at it and see what we have. So it's menu six: beef taco filling. Nice. So that's the beef taco filling, rice and beans, tortillas, nut and raisin mix with pan coated chocolate discs, cheese spread, Bill's brew, freeze dried coffee, an orange beverage. You get your spoon and you get your heat pack. I'm gonna pop the rice and beans and the beef taco in my tiny little pot. So, um, yeah, hopefully that'll fit. <laughs> we'll beat them in there somewhere. Uh, get in. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Have a look. Like I said, perfect. <laughs> Will the lid go on that? Sure. Not really. I was actually hoping for a bit of bad weather today because I want to build up my experience with the bad weather and just get used to pitching the tent and driving rain or filming. I want to get used to that in bad weather. I've already realized a few bits that I need to sort out because it's causing me a bit of grief. <laughs> the slightest bit of rain is causing a bit of grief with the cameras and that, so I have a few ideas. But I think it's good to get out when the weather is not the best. And then if it does kick off when you go out and you're not expecting it, at least, you know, you're not too far out of your comfort zone. Just turn that down a smidge. So I'll be getting out any chance I get. It'll have to be really bad for me to stay at home. And, oh, there's the wife. <laughs> she just can't get enough of me, you know. I wouldn't say I'm too comfortable now. I think I need to recline my chair a bit. I'd say it's the angle of the ground just messing me up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the business. Happy days. It's the simple things like that that would wreck your tits. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get the, the dinner sorted now. I have to say I do like the cheese spread. It's pretty nice. I have to be very careful with this knife around the tent. <laughs> If I rip this tent or break it in any way, I might as well not go home. This is the rice and beans. Oh, there's a sauce in there. Doesn't sound anything about a sauce. So I've completely arsed this up already. <laughs> I should have done them separately. I thought the, that would go in with this. I didn't realize that was in a sauce. So, um, yeah, this is also in a sauce. So I'm going to put this in the tortillas and then I'm going to eat that. Probably gonna have to lie down for a while. <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Messy is an understatement. <laughs> Tastes good though. I can hear that noise again. I don't know if it's fox cubs or birds or what it is. Maybe it's a bird. Or an e that sounded like an eagle. <laughs> so, and the noise has just stopped. Like the mother, whatever it is, <laughs> just told him to wish. <laughs> There's a man coming with a camera.
I might have got some audio of it, so if you do know what it is, let me know, because I would absolutely love to know what that is. I'm baffled. <laughs> I'm, I'm beginning to believe it might be like an eagle or a buzzard or something. That last call sounded like an eagle. 20 to 9. The weather's giving me a little bit of a break. The wind has changed direction. Coming from the southeast now. Right into me face. <laughs> oh yeah. That's why when I'm pitching the tent I don't really worry too much about which side of the tent is facing the wind. Because the wind changes all the time. You know, it's coming right into me face there now. And it was coming up from behind me, which was lovely. Because <laughs> I was all sheltered here, you know. It took a very, very long time for me to come in. <laughs> I was just out there watching the view for nearly an hour and 45 minutes. Just sitting there, it was absolutely beautiful, really calm. It was just lovely, really, really nice. So I'm gonna finish setting up the tent. I'm gonna get a cup of tea on the go and then I'm gonna unzip that door and have another little peek. And uh, yeah, I'll get some sleep then, so. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. It's pretty chilly here this morning. Oh, mama. I had to put on my gloves. I even put on my waterproofs just to try and combat the wind chill. Because it is very cold. I think Ireland's forgotten about the summer. <laughs> just completely skipped that season. <laughs> I just saw a duck land in the lake over there. I was not expecting that. So that's me all wrapped up. Usual crack, I didn't leave any trace. I'm definitely gonna bring out the Hilleberg more often. Even in fine weather, just to get used to pitching it. But I wouldn't mind some mediocre weather. <laughs> to get some real practice in, you know. But hopefully you enjoyed this little video and hopefully you didn't mind looking at the same view all night. <laughs> yeah. You might stick around and join me for the next one. And I'll see you then. Good luck.